Welcome to JSA TV. I'm Liz Edwards. I'm coming to you from London at the International Finance Forum hosted by Tech Capital. I'm joined here today by Jonathan Evans, Director of Total Data Center Solutions. We had a bit of a joke last night saying you're a veteran, are we allowed to say veteran of the industry? So tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do and and what, who you do it for? Uh, well, I set up Total Data Center Solutions uh, 20 years ago in Dublin, actually, in Ireland, and uh, we worked for Irish companies for quite a long time. Then we worked for English companies, and then in 2012, we went to the Nordics to work with Green Mountain, and that was a sort of transition for us into the sustainable world of data centers, and we've been working on the sustainability aspects of data centers ever since for Eco Data Center and now with a company called T Loop in Stockholm where they're building data centers next to district heating plants. And we also do other things around uh, sales and marketing uh, for data centers as well as design and sourcing land and power. Amazing. And well, in that 20 plus years in data centers, I'd say it's changed quite significantly. Obviously the demand has grown but as a result, the heat generated by the servers has grown. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you do in that. Well, we've been trying to find different ways of getting rid of the heat from the servers, and we, we thought immersion cooling was the answer, but it seems to be that uh, to the chip cooling has, has taken over instead. Um, but I think to the chip is too complicated as an engineering solution, so I hope that immersion cooling will eventually emerge as the best solution to take, o take over from air cooling. Obviously, the, 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 the servers now are getting very, very dense in terms of their heat output, and, uh, and so we've uh, had to move away from air cooling. The advantage of these solutions is that they bring a much higher temperature to the water when it leaves the data center, because what we're focusing on is heat reuse, and to reuse the heat, you need high water temperatures. And the temperatures coming off from air cooling are very low and can't really be used. And so they have to increase them using heat pumps, which themselves use electricity. So we're focused a lot on server heat reuse at the moment. Um, and, and the different ways we're doing that um, is through uh, district heating primarily. But there's also other manufacturing methods you can use, like wood pellet manufacturing. And then we can also move on to growing tomatoes in vast greenhouses. The problem is that you've got a data center in the country somewhere. It's giving out 50 megawatts of heat. What do you do with 50 megawatts of heat? It's very, very difficult. I think that there's only about three or four percent of all of the heat output from IT at the moment being used in, dist in district heating or, or reusing the waste heat which is not a very much really. So that needs to increase dramatically in order to uh, improve our PR with the general public, but also to avoid, you know, it's a, it's a scandal that we don't use more of the heat really. And when they bring out these 1,000 megawatt data centers, that will be enough to heat a city like Leeds. So you imagine trying to, <laughs> trying to use that much waste heat somewhere. Very, very difficult. And especially when you're trying to do it throughout the year, you know because obviously heating is only used in the middle of the winter. And then in the summer, you've got the heat. What are you going to do with it then? Lots of swimming pools, I suppose. <laughs> so <laughs> so it, it, it's a tricky one, you know. It's a trick, but you have lots of ideas and it all feeds into the circular economy and I'm trying to grow tomatoes this year in, in Ireland. It's not, I could use some of that heat in my garden. But this, I mean, this all feeds into the sustainability uh, conversation we're having around data centres. And that's why I moved to the Nordics, primarily in my business, because obviously there's a lot more uh, green energy in the Nordics, you know, in Norway and Sweden and Finland, coming from all the different, uh, hydro, whether it be wind turbines, solar or hydroelectricity. But th that brings on its own problems, of course, in terms of grid stability, as we found out in Spain the other day. But, but that, that's the Nordics for me is the best place to be doing uh, sustainable data centers for sure, yeah. Excellent, is there anything else? You want to tell the audience today? Um, no, it's just that we're going to focus 100% on renewable energy and on heat reclaim, and we should all be doing that. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Thank very you interesting. Thank you very so thank you, everybody, for joining us. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking here at the event in London.